Hello, welcome to our devotional time here at Temple Baptist Church. Today we're going to be in 1 Samuel chapter 8, and I want to look at verse 5, and well, let's just look at verses 4 uh, through 9. Then the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Raham and said unto him, Look, you are old and your sons do not walk in your way. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. So Samuel prayed to the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Heed the voice of the people and all that they say to you, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me that I should not reign over them. And according to all the works which they have done since the days that I brought them up out of Egypt, even to this day, with which they have forsaken me and served other gods, so they are doing to you also. Now therefore heed their voice, however you shall solemnly forewarn them and show them the behavior of the king who will reign over them. Now I'm going to present a little scenario to you here, and I know some of you may have done this, and I'm not sure that I have. I'm guilty of talking to my dog sometimes. I have a dog. I have a couple of them now. My grandson's got one at my house, and I'm guilty of talking to him, but I don't really have a conversation with him, so to speak. Uh, uh, you know, and that, and that, you know, just talking to one may sound nuts to some people. It kind of does to me at the time. They think I'm, I'm nuts, but let's say your dog wants to go outside. They just know there's something out there in the yard that they got to do. But on the other hand, you know the day's weather is not dog friendly. So you ain't going out there and you don't got this weather. You don't want to go out there and this. And I'm just saying, you know, we can talk to an animal like that. And, and the response may be from this dog is you're not a dog. Other dogs are out. So open the door and let me out. Sounds logical, don't it? The other dogs are doing it, you know. You know, and, and just think about this. Don't we always think we know best? <laughs> we know best, don't we? Sometimes we do. And we do know best. And sometimes we don't. And sometimes we have to get what we ask for to learn how wrong we actually were. You know, here, here it is. All right, you want to go out in the rain? Go out in the rain and it ain't long you're coming back. You know, Israel told Samuel, he said, they said, look, you're old, appoint a king to judge us as the same as other nations. Okay, in spite of their selfishness, God gave the people their king, didn't he? They wanted it. They wanted it. You know, throughout history, the kingdoms, there were good kings, there were bad kings, they were terrible kings, but the people got what they asked for. So why don't we turn to God in every situation? Why don't let Him make the decisions in our life? It's our humanity that keeps that from happening, it's our, it's our pride it's our selfishness. It's because we want everything, what we want is everything he ha has instead, instead of him. We want everything we want, but not him. You know, it's our lack of faith. We don't have faith in God that he knows what he's doing. He knew beforehand. He knows what he's doing. And so, you know, we don't have to live Without faith, we live by faith and can place our trust in Him. That's what Israel should have done. Uh, you know, we can sit there and say that all day, that, hey, you know, they should have known better than to say, we want a king just like all the other nations. We want to be ruled. We don't want to be ruled by you. But how many times today have we said that ourselves? How many times today have we said, you know, I know what I'm doing. You, you know, uh, I think I know best, and sometimes we do, and sometimes we don't. That I want it, 
sometimes gets us in trouble. It's got me in trouble a lot of times. I'd like to say it never would again, but it probably will. It'll probably get me in trouble again because I don't listen to God. Listen to Him. Trust Him. When He says you don't need to do this or you don't need to do that or when you need to do this or you need to do that, trust Him. Are you trusting Him today? Can we invite you to be a part of our services here at Temple? Sunday morning, our first service is at 8 o'clock. Our Sunday school classes begin at 9. Our second service is at 10. Sunday night, we have 6 o'clock worship service. And Wednesday night, we have uh, 7 o'clock uh, Bible study and prayer meeting. Come and be a part of those services. May God bless you is our prayer.